All right, so just one more problem here uh, using the arc length formula. So in this problem, we've got a tree that's 1,500 yards from an observer, and that subtends an angle of 2 degrees. We're going to use the arc length formula to estimate the height of the tree. Okay, so here's, uh, here's you or somebody, and uh, so suppose, you know, suppose we could almost represent you as a little dot. And a tree, we've got this tree that's way far away, or pretty far away, you know, 1,500 yards is a, a good little ways. And to get to the top of the tree, um, so let's make it a, a little Christmas tree here, a little holiday festivities. Um, so there's our little tree, our little pine tree. Um, and the idea is to the top of the tree, you're going to make a little a little angle here of uh, two degrees. Okay, so the idea is, you know, the tree assumedly is standing straight up and down. You know, the, the, the circle that you're really thinking about is definitely curved, so that's why we're approximating the height of the tree here. But the idea is, if we can just find that arc length, that arc length is going to be approximately equal to the height of the tree. So that's the basic idea. We just have to do the same thing as before, just use our arc length formula. So let's see, we said that S was equal to R times theta. R is the radius. Well, in this case, since it's 1,500 yards away, um, you can imagine that's just sitting on a circle. So the radius will be 1,500. Again, we've got to convert theta into radians. So let's see, pi radians is equivalent, is equal to 180 degrees. If we divide both sides by 180, we'll get pi over 180 radians is equivalent to 1 degree. And now if we just simply multiply uh, both sides by 2, we'll get 2 pi over 180 radians equals 2 degrees. So that's simply going to be pi over 90 radians is going to be the same thing as equivalent to 2 degrees. So for our angle, theta, we'll plug in pi over 90. And now I'm just going to do the arithmetic. So let's see, we'll do 1,500 over 90. And I'm going to approximate pi by using 3.14. Uh, let's see here, let me get my calculator. So we've got 1,500 divided by 90. I'm getting that to be 16.6 uh, .6 repeating. times 3.14, so let's see, when I multiply that by 3.14, I'm getting this to equal 52.3 uh, repeating. But again, we wanted to round this to the nearest yard, so this is pretty close to 52 yards. So we would say the height of that tree, give or take a little bit, is 52 yards uh, using our arc length formula.